Welcome back to another edition of Down Home. We are here at Duck Jam 2009 at Wolf Pink Creek Amphitheater, and we have the unique pleasure of a special visitor, Mr. Kinky Freeman. Kinky, thank you for joining us. Oh, great to be here. Thank you very much for joining and taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. Looking at your website, you have a lot of stuff going on. What did, on a day that you don't have personal appearances, what does Kinky do at, at, at the Freedman Homestead when he's got a day off? Well, I've, you know, I've got the four Freedmans, my dogs, uh, Mr. Magoo, Perky, Brownie, and Chumley, and a, about a hundred hummingbirds. <laughs> and uh, I plot, you know, uh, how I'm going to get Rick Perry. You know? <laughs> uh, in fact, I've just I've, I've worked out my uh, will now, my last oh, okay. will. And I am a rewrite, I guess. Well, no, when I die, yes, it is. It's when I die, uh, I'm to be cremated, and the ashes are to be thrown in Rick Perry's hair. Okay, so that's. <laughs> That's all said. I, I, I can see where that could add a little body to it, something like that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Could, I can understand that. But, uh, I, I read your letter to the Texans uh, about the democracy, Democrats plus independence is, equals victory. Absolutely. Explain it's, that a little bit. Well, the last Gallup poll shows more Democrats than Republicans in Texas. And um, I also think that President Obama has kind of greened the grassroots. There's a whole lot of people when I ran who were sure their vote wouldn't matter, wouldn't count, and they didn't vote. And those were all my votes. Right. Perry's people all voted. So I'm just saying that um, they get in the habit of voting, and uh, people are creatures of narrow habits. So I think um, hard, yeah, old habits are hard to break. I, I think Obama has helped us helped us a lot. Yeah. How hard is it for someone of your stage, a humorist, as your title, to be taken seriously as a politician? Oh, that, that's always a problem because politicians are the lowest. You know, waste of space. Well, most of them are kind of humorous in the first place, I guess. Well, they're, they're, yeah, I believe Will Rogers. Will Rogers said that that uh, that some uh, he said some of the, the politicians are the greatest comedians of them all. Is it? But uh, every um, law they make turns into a joke, and every joke turns into a law, basically, right. and that's it. Um, I would say if you get beat for governor in a, in a in a race like we had, and you get up and you, you run again, you got to be serious, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So you better be serious. Absolutely. So, so what, who, you know, you're definitely going after a, a total new grassroots type of, uh, of making these kind of small personal appearances and going after the people that just feel they haven't really been heard. Well, it's um, what I'll be embarking on this summer is a listening tour of rural Texas. And while we don't consider this rural, but any place but Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, or Austin. Every place uh, under a million population. Yeah, any place that's, that's, that's voice has not been heard. Right. And I want to listen to the teachers and uh, meet the political people and meet the, the people and uh, hear what they have to say. And uh, I don't think that's been done in a while. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Well, what about Governor Perry's uh, recent <clears throat> statements at the Tea Party? You've got to have an opinion on yeah, that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Rick has thought this through. <laughs> that's my opinion. I, I think, first of all, if, if he got his wish, if we seceded from the union, um, he wouldn't have a job, number one. There would be no governor. Uh, there'd be no budget. And if he wanted to, to lead the, the, the state, uh, be, be president, he'd have to run against Chuck Norris, all right? Because Chuck has already said he'll, he'll be president of Texas if, it's, Absolutely. if it secedes. Do, do, do I hear maybe so, a, uh, so a, it's a, one way we get his ass out of here, okay? It's so do I see secede. a Friedman, a Friedman Norris ticket? Well, that would be, <laughs> that would be daunting, yeah. I think I, I, I think Chuck's a Republican, though. That's, that could be a problem. Yeah, but he's also, he's, I mean, he just lives down the road now in Navasota. So he's, well, he's right here in the Brazos Valley. Well, I, I tell you, we, we need uh, people who are populist, people who care about the people of Texas, because everything else is doing fine, the corporations and the state itself. Right. It's the people that are getting screwed. Right. Let's move a little bit further on, and i tell you what, let's talk about, I'll go to my other page here, the Roundup's coming up, I believe, in May. No, April, uh, when is it? June? May, June. June 13th. June 13th. Tell us a little bit about the Roundup down in Medina. We're having our second Kinky Friedman Ranch Roundup uh, with our special guests, Jerry Jeff Walker and Ramblin' Jack Elliott. That should be a great show. Uh, it's going to be a great show. And, uh, of course, a lot of this involves uh, Utopia Animal Rescue Ranch, so anybody who wants to adopt a dog, right. please check it. Or check it out anyway, utopiarescue.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been uh, doing this for 10 years. And it's really... Uh, How is the rescue ranch? It's great. Yeah, it, it's doing very well. And uh, as I always say, money may buy you a fine dog, but only love can make him wag his tail. Absolutely. And we find that in the people that adopt these dogs, it's, uh, it's opening the gates of heaven a little bit wider. You know, it's very nice. So it's, I'm not doing too much business kind of things right now. I'm kind of um, 
relaxing and, and preparing a new book. Oh, okay. Uh, there's one coming. I've got some books over there that I, yeah, the, the, that I want you to sign. All right. right. Well, I'll sign any, anything but bad legislation. You know that. There right. you go. But the, uh, the, the book is uh, coming out this fall is called The Kinky Celebrity Pet Files. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's all these famous people, not, not uh, Paris Hilton, or she didn't make the cut, but a lot of hard to get famous types, living and dead, and they're animals. That's the only kind of books that are selling today are pet books and celebrity books. So this is a celebrity pet book, and it's published by Simon and Schuster. I mean Schuster. You, uh, Sorry. <laughs> so that'll be out. And uh, that's it. I'm going to take it out. You know, it's too early to really run for, for governor right now. Right. So we're just testing the waters. We have an exploratory committee, and we've got a campaign director, Abel Dominguez, who, who ran Victor Morales' campaign. Mm -hmm. In '96, that was a guy that had no money, was a school teacher, and spoke on the back of his from the back of his pickup right. truck, mm -hmm. and he won the primary. So you know, money. Spent a lot of time on the road on that one little pickup, if I remember. Uh, that's right. That's yeah. right. So, of course, I traded in my Yom Kippur Clipper. I, I used to have a <laughs> have a Jewish Cadillac, which it stops on a dime and it picks it up. <laughs> it picks it up on the way back. Yeah, yeah I've got rid of that, and uh, so the, I'm looking forward to just hearing what the people of Texas rural Texas have to say, because I think that defines Texas. That's real Texas. Right. And you look at these places, you just name them. Uh, Branham, Seeley, uh, Richmond, Rosenberg, Galveston, Alpine, uh, Waxahachie, Palestine. Nobody goes there. The politicians will never see those towns. Yeah, and, and then, uh, Hebronville, all the way down to the They will they not see the smaller towns of Texas, and I'm going to see all of them, and we'll see if that makes a difference. I think it will. That's going to make for a long, a long road. A long it's going to be great. I think it's going to be inspiring. I mean, it could be boring and tedious if it is, and I don't so have. Be it. That's what it I is. don't have to run. I mean, I don't have to commit until December. So. All right. Well, anything uh, else? Yeah, I just want to keep everybody on edge. In the meantime, I'm not sure what's going to happen here, you know, because I think running as a Democrat is uh, going to be real smart here. I, th I think it's. I think the Democrats have lost since Ann Richards every time, strictly because they can't get the grassroots excited. Right, and and I know we can do that. It, one one person I want you to speak of briefly because I always found her uh, when I was younger. I always she was eloquent, and that's Barbara Jordan. Barbara Jordan has become a hero of mine, uh, mainly because even though she was in Martin Luther King's time frame and she was friendly with him and she loved him, she never um, she didn't march, she didn't protest. She went to people who were her enemies and found common humanity in the person. Right, and a great example of that is the Voting Rights Act extension, which was in the 70s, and this was keeping African Americans and Hispanics from voting. I mean, if it, if it went out, if it expired, it would be bad news. So uh, Barbara went across, she was being the first African American congressman from the South in Washington, she went across to Robert Byrd, the former Klansman, mm -hmm. who was a senator, and they became really good friends. And so when this bill came up, she went to him instead of going to the, the liberals. And the liberals were furious, and the black congressional caucus was so angry at her for talk, even talking to this guy. Right. He gave her 50 votes he had in his pocket. He could do it. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? The bill, passed. the bill passed. Something was done, and that's my message to Democrats. Let's stop falling on our swords and just complaining and trying to make a point or make a statement. It's time to win. And she was elegant, and she knew how to get things done. She knew where to go oh, she uh, was, to get the job done. And, and if she was ever attacked personally, which she was often, she would never attack back personally. Right, she did not believe in attacking she, personally. She, she'd put the people on her forgive and remember list. That right, was it. Yeah. exactly. No, she was probably, I think, our only modern-day statesman that reached millions of Americans, inspired millions of Americans, Barbara Jordan. Absolutely, I agree. They're giving me the rap sign. All it's right. time, and you've got to go over to the uh, cigar store. Thank you for stopping by. Great. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you for taking such Kyle, we'll, we'll time definitely. out of your busy day. We'll see you down the highway for sure. Absolutely. We'll be back with more down home from here, down the 2009 Duck Jam here at Wolf Pin Creek Amphitheater. We'll be back right after this. I'm going to light this booger up, too. Who's got a match? He's 